So right now I'm forming my pre-anesthetic plan to uh, sedate our patient before we intubate and induce for anesthesia. The patient we're working with is an 82.2 pound coon hound and we're going to do a mass removal. So we've got, gone, I've gone ahead and checked to see what our uh, anesthetic plan is going to be for our pre-medication. And what we're going to use is we're going to use Torb and Ace for our pre-medication. We're going to give these injections IM. The dosage we're going to do is what we're going to calculate. Um, and the doctor has prescribed to do it half strength on the Ace and full strength on the Torb. So we'll calculate the dose and then I'll half the Ace for what we're going to actually give. So I'm going to start by just getting our anesthesia chart ready here. I'm going to fill out all our patient information. I have the record right here. And I've just verified that a physical exam has been done on this patient. Everything came back normal. We have notes on the masses on what's going to be removed. We have a mass on the left shoulder that's about 3 inches by 3 inches, and it's the lipoma. And then just above that lipoma is a draining cyst, which is about 1.4 inches by 1.4 inches. Both of those are being removed. We also have run a pre-anesthetic blood work, a CPC, and a chemistry panel. Both of those were all within normal limits, and nothing concerning on the blood work. So our patient information. The name of the patient is Brandy. Brandy is a coon hound. And 11 years old. She's a spayed female. And a canine. And then I'm going to fill in some of her vitals from this morning when the uh, doctor took a look for her physical exam. Her temperature was 101.2 Fahrenheit. Her weight was 82.2 82 pounds and then for kilograms I'm going to take what it is in pounds 82.2 and divide that by 2.2 so in kilograms she's 37.36 her cap Capillary refill time is about one. Heart rate and respiratory rate were all within normal limits. We'll continue to take a heart rate and respiratory rate as we induce and premedicate, so we will fill that out on here as we go along for our numbers and records. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put our pre-medication plan on here. We're doing full torb and half ace. Okay, so now I'm going to calculate our volume. Both of these are going to be going IM, and then I will mark the time when we give these. So for our ace, our ace is going to be, we're doing 0 0.02 mg per kg our blank sheet here to work on. We're doing 0 0.02 mg per kg. And our strength of our drug right here is 1 mg per mil. So to calculate our dosage for the ACE, I'm going to take our weight in pounds, 82.2, find it in kilograms, divided by 2.2, and then I'm going to multiply that by 0 0.02 for our ACE dosage, and divide by 10 for our concentration, and it comes out at 0 0.074. And then I'm going to go ahead and divide that by 2, because we're doing our ACE at a half strength in our ACE dosage. I just put one slash through that so we know that that is the correct dosage, but the dose I'm going to give is 0 0.037, but we'll just give 0 0.03. Okay, so that is our half strength dose for our ACE. And then for our TORB, our TORB we're going to do at 0 0.1 mg per kg, and the strength of our drug here is 10 mg per mil. So again, I'm going to take 
the weight of my patient, which is 82.2, find it in kilograms, so divided by 2.2, and then from there I'm going to multiply by 0.1 for our um, drug dosage, and then divide that by 10 for our strength, and the Torb dose is 0 0.37. And this, the Torb, we are doing at full strength, so we will give that amount. Okay, so those are our drug calculations. Our ACE is going to be 0 0.03 at half strength, and then a full strength to Torb is 0 0.37. So I'm going to run through these calculations one more time. I've got a mentor looking over my shoulder, making sure we're getting these calculations correct. I just want to verify, double check my math here. I'm using a calculator for all of these. I'm never doing drug calculations just in my head. I'm always making sure I'm writing down the numbers, checking it with a calculator, double checking, and having another technician or another doctor verify my numbers as we go to prevent any miscalculations or misadministrations of the drug dose. Okay, so my ACE at 0 0.02 mg per kg at 1 mg per mL. My patient weighs 82.2 pounds, 82.2 divided by 2.2 times 0 0.02 divided by 10 is 0 0.074 for my full strength ACE. We're doing a half dose, so divide that by 2. 0 0.03 is my half dose of ACE. Okay, so that is a double check confirmed, and that is 0 0.03 mils. Okay, I'm going to double check my TORB calculations. 0 0.1 mg per mil, or mg per kg, excuse me, 0 0.1 mg per kg at a strength of 10 mg per mil. My patient weighs 82.2 pounds divided by 2.2 for, ki for kgs. And then I'm going to multiply that by 0.1 and divide that by 10. And my TORB dose is 0 0.37 mils. Okay, so I've confirmed and double checked that calculation. So I'm going to take these numbers, this is just my worksheet, and I'm going to put them onto my anesthetic chart here for my records. So full TORB, 0 0.37 mils going IM. Half ACE. I'm going to go ahead and write down the full ACE, which was 0 0.07. 0 0.07. Put one slash through that so I know I have the full dose calculated. And I'm going to write my half dose, which is 0 0.03 mils, also going IM. So we'll go ahead and give these 15 to 20 minutes before we're ready to actually induce our patient. And then when I give these, we'll mark the time and um, the bottle the EA number we'll put down. So my TOR, since these are both a uh, controlled drug, we have to keep track of our bottle numbers. My TOR number here is, let's see, M72. And my ACE is T73. Alright, and then I will get a syringe to draw up my doses. Alright, so my TORB at a dose of 0 0.37 mils. There's my TORB at 0 0.37. And then I'll draw my ACE at my half dose of 0 0.03.
This is a small quantity. 0 0.03. 1, 2, and 3. Okay, 0 0.03 at a half dose ACE. And then we'll um, combine these two doses into one syringe. So we're only poking the dog once for our IM injection, but we never draw them up from the same syringe. change our needle and we have our pre-anesthetic medication ready to give to our patient. We're going to give this IM and we can go ahead and do this now so I'll mark down the time for both of these injections and then we can go ahead and give our pre-anesthetic uh, medication and then we can monitor our patient for the next 15 or 20 minutes and then we'll be ready for our our intubation and anesthetic procedure. One other thing I'm going to mark down before we give this, I'll adjust my times, um, is our anesthetic risk level. Since this is an older patient, she's an 11 year old dog, she's going to be at um, an anesthetic level 2 for our risk, which we have marked in here also that the doctor noted this morning in the physical exam, so she's going to be at a level 2, so our ASA is a 2 for this patient. Okay. And then I'll adjust my premedication time. And we can go ahead and give this injection IAP. We're going to go ahead and do it in the bicep femoris muscle, that's the back leg. And then we can monitor our patient and see when she's ready for our intubation and induction. I'm giving premedication for our anesthetic procedure about 15 to 20 minutes before. Um, the medication we're using is ACE and TORM. We have 0.03 ACE and 0.37 TORM. I'm going to do it IM in the back leg muscle right here, the bicep femoris. Okay, needle in and aspirate for blood. And then inject. And then we'll monitor this dog for 15 to 20 minutes before surgery and then we're ready to induce.